Welcome to Movie Review Mom. If you're a subscriber coming back for more, yay! I'm so glad and I truly appreciate your support. If you are brand new to my channel and just discovered it, yay! I'm so glad I've been waiting for you. I hope you like what you see. My goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision for you and your family as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or both watching a specific film. So that specific film I'm reviewing today is called Causeway. This psychological drama is now available exclusively on Apple TV+. Plus. The movie is rated R and is an hour and 32 minutes. The movie review mom grade I'm giving it is... A B. Now, not very many film critics, if any, give you the score right at the very beginning. So don't click away. Keep watching so I can explain why. I'm going to give you an overview in a nutshell, and then I'll point out things I liked and didn't like, as well as offer tips for parents in case your kids want to watch this, but I don't think they will. <laughs> Themes worth talking about, interesting lines, funny lines, if there are any, and recommendations for other films that I think you'll also enjoy if you like this one. All right, ready? In a nutshell, the movie is about a U.S. soldier who suffers a traumatic brain injury while fighting in Afghanistan and struggles to adjust to life back at home. This is the directorial debut of a feature film for Leela Nugabauer. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. So there were a lot of things I really enjoyed about this movie, or I shouldn't say enjoy because it's a painful movie to watch. But some of the things that I thought were done very well are, first of all, Jennifer Lawrence. I pretty much love everything that Jennifer Lawrence is in. As always, she gives a fantastic performance in this very dramatic film. Brian Tyree Henry also offers a compelling performance. He and Jennifer have really good chemistry together, and I think they work really well together as a team. The rest of the cast also does a great job and includes Linda Emmond, Jane Howdyshell, and Stephen Henderson, among others. All of the performances are very natural and realistic. Thank you. I should have said this before anything else. Thank you for all of you in the military for all that you do and go through to serve our country. We truly appreciate your sacrifices. Now, my oldest son is actually in the military, in the Army. Ooh, yeah. And of course, as a mother, I worry about him and his safety and of his little growing family when he's away. And I so appreciate their sacrifices. It takes a strong spouse to hold the family together while that military soldier is serving. So thank you as well. The movie portrays, as I said, a very realistic look at how difficult it can be to transition to civilian life after serving, especially in a war. The movie is a character study that offers subtle insights into friendship, life, support, and loss. New Orleans is featured in this setting. It's really fun to see some of the beautiful architecture with wrought iron stair railings and balconies. It would have been fun to see even more because it's such a fascinating city. The movie was filmed in the summer of 2019, but didn't release until just this month. There's a rumor that the film's original title was Red, White, and Water due to the reference of military service and the fact that Jennifer Lawrence's job is cleaning pools. So actually, I think that's kind of a cute title and probably more understandable than Causeway. Comment down below, what do you think Causeway means in this film? I won't tell you what I think it means because I'm really curious what you guys think. So some of the things that I didn't like about the movie include the fact that the movie is a very slow burn with a very sudden ending. Some people might complain saying that nothing really happens due to the slow pace. And that's not always everybody's cup of tea. Some people want more action and movement and energy in a movie. But this is a very slow transition to represent that slow length of time that it takes to fully incorporate into civilian life, a uh, recover a physical body after damage, and to just accept the fact that maybe going back to the war isn't going to be an option. And that's really hard for soldiers. No spoilers. I'm just saying that, you know, anyway, 
One thing that drives me nuts is when people in movies, well, in real life for that matter, say they're trying to get healthy, like the main characters in this story, and then they drink alcohol, smoke, and do drugs. And I'm like, what the what? Come on now. It's always really painful to watch broken people suffer and struggle. And in the case of this movie, it wasn't due to their own mistakes. I recently reviewed a movie called To Leslie, where she was her worst enemy. She, everything that she endured was because of her own bad choices. Uh, and yet that's not the case. These are two uh, people that were wounded, not due to their own choices or own mistakes. Anyway, there are some scenes that last way too long. And I kept wondering, when is the director going to yell cut? Because she just likes to hold that shot and have you keep looking and looking and looking until it becomes awkward, awkward and almost even painful to keep watching. All right, so let me give you some tips for parents. This movie is rated R and really not appropriate for children. Plus, I think children will actually be really bored. There's profanity, including many F-bombs. Characters drink alcohol, smoke a joint, as I mentioned before. We see a character missing a leg. Jennifer Lawrence slips down into her skivvies, her underwear, quite often in the movie. <laughs> and one of the characters is a lesbian. Now, whenever I mention things like that, people will comment down below and say, what's wrong with that? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. My job, my goal is to make sure you understand the content so that you can decide for yourself if this is appropriate for family viewing or just adults only. That's all. Don't get all crazy. <laughs> I have a lot of friends who are lesbians, actually. One was in my wedding party, so... Anyway, some of the themes that are illustrated are PTSD, military service, redemption, recovery, friendship, family support, acceptance, and time. All right, so I always write down funny lines and interesting lines to kind of give you the heads up on content and the, the flavor of the movie. I didn't write down any funny lines. Uh, there really weren't any worth noting, uh, because this is really a pretty serious drama, but I did write down a lot of interesting lines. You can see all of them on my written review at moviereviewmom.com, uh, but I'll share a few of them with you right now. First of all, there's a character whose name is Sharon, and she's the first one to really be there to help rehabilitate Jennifer Lawrence's character, whose name is Lindsay. So Sharon is the one who's taking care of her. And she says, I got so good at taking care of him, referring to this other guy. I thought, why can't I do it for a living? So I went back to school and got licensed. And then Jennifer Lawrence's character says, what a miserable life. And then she realizes what she said. And she says, I'm so sorry. And Sharon says, it's okay. People say things they don't mean. Sometimes they can't remember words. It'll get easier. And I was so impressed with this character, how compassionate, forgiving, and patient she was. I mean, the perfect caregiver, right? And then another point, Sharon says, I know this is hard. Lindsay is driving a car. And she says, this isn't hard. Driving a car shouldn't be a victory. And Sharon says, I mean, living transition can be hard. And then just so you can get a little taste for the friendship that James and Lindsay develop the two leading characters. James says, hey, how's the pool business going? And she says, it's cutthroat. And he says, really? And she says, no. <laughs> I guess that was the funny line. I didn't realize I wrote down a funny line. All right. So along those veins, I wanted to tell you about some other films that I highly recommend. The first one is called Thank You for Your Service. All of these are military movies that demonstrate and illustrate very well how difficult that transition is coming back into civilian life. So check that one out. Another one is called Megan Levy, and that's actually based on a true story. So if you're interested in that one, definitely check that one out. It uh, stars Kate Mara. I love her. She's just so cute. Uh, and does an excellent job. And then the last one I want to recommend is called Love and Honor. And again, just a reference to the honorable service that these men and women do to serve our country and all that they go through. And I think they deserve all the benefits they possibly can get from our government and our people when they do return home. Well, while they're out there, of course, but especially when they come home, because it's tough and it takes a very unique person to serve in the military. So all of those of you who are watching, that was a weird, awkward sentence, but all of you who are watching this review, who have served in the military or are currently serving in the military, 
Thank you so much from a grateful nation. We truly appreciate your service. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, for watching my YouTube channel and subscribing, subscribe. I really appreciate that. Whenever you like or comment, that helps my YouTube channel grow because YouTube then pushes that out to other people so they can discover it. And um, that's my goal. So anyway, thank you. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh,